guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Deja Monet, and I'm back with another vlog. Today is Monday, January 30th, and it's 9.43 a.m. I'm going to be taking you guys on a week in the life of a fashion major at Clark Atlanta. So you guys will be spending the week with me here at Clark, and I'm going to show you guys my classes that I take and just my life being a fashion major on campus. I know that y'all requested this video a lot. Like in past videos, y'all wanted to see how like fashion, like what fashion majors do and what classes they take. So here it finally is. So basically what I want to do with this series, I call it Fashion Friday. I'm going to vlog from Monday to Thursday and then the video should be uploaded on Fridays so that you guys can see everything that goes on behind the scenes and just see what campus life is and being a fashion major. So I hope you guys enjoy this series and everything this is my fit for the day i have my glow gang hat puffer cozy my cargos and then i'll put on my ribs which are over here. today i have two classes i have visual merchandising at 10 and then i have finite math at two i'm gonna get to class because if i don't leave now i'm gonna be late i don't want to be late so i'm gonna see y'all in class <laughs> of the retail store that you want to build as a group. Also important to read the chapters, each chapter in its entirety. Every chapter in this textbook is a perfect example of what a visual merchandiser must do. Hey y'all, so it's currently 12 o'clock, but I wanted to tell y'all about the class. So she put us into groups for the semester. So I'm in group four. She went over our presentations. We have group presentations and our group is presenting in April. I think it's April 3rd, but we are reading chapter 10 in our visual merchandising books and we're doing the techniques that visual merchandisers use. So we're going to be working on that, but the cafe is kind of like filled and stuff like that but yeah okay. For the day but me and prince are gonna go to the library and just finish up some schoolwork that is due and like studying stuff so that's it for this monday i'm gonna get with you guys back tomorrow tomorrow is a busy day i have three classes and tomorrow is seafood day there's just a lot of stuff going on there's also a basketball game today but i'm not gonna vlog that i want this vlog to be specifically for classes so you guys can see what it's like I'll save all the fun stuff for my HBC vlogs, but yeah. So, I'm gonna see you cuties tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's currently 9.32 right now. I did not see the teacher's message saying that we do not have class so I literally got out of bed and came to class and there's no class. So I low-key did not feel good anyway and I did not want to get out of my bed. I'm probably just gonna go in the Jasmine Cafe because it doesn't make sense for me to go somewhere else. I got a big egg and cheese. Just a little update guys, I did have a class at 10.50, I didn't record it because when I got to class on time, everyone was sitting down, but the teacher was late and technically the rules are, if they're a regular professor 
after 10 minutes, students are allowed to leave. And if they're a doctor, they we have like to give them 15 minutes and then we can leave like because they're late. And a lot of students were like leaving and then everybody just got up and left. But as we were working out, the teacher was walking in and like she caught some of us. Well, not really caught, but like we just went back in the classroom. We went over a book that we were reading about manifestation, but it was a really good class session it's first year seminar but it's like for art and fashion students so right now it is currently 1 11. i have a class at 1 40 and that is my textiles class that is like dealing with fabrics it ends at 2 55 but it's seafood day today and the seafood starts at four and there's going to be a line but i just want to update y'all I want to give you guys the best footage of what it's like being a fashion major because I really want it to be focused on classes like my HBCU vlogs be fun and lit and stuff like that. I try to get me in classes sometimes but usually I feel like the HBCU vlogs are more of like what campus life is. For this series I really want to like focus on fashion and being a fashion major so I hope you guys enjoy it and if you are enjoying this video please comment down below and let me know your feedback and all that stuff so i'm gonna see you guys later Okay guys, so I got out of class. That class is actually really fun. Um, we learning about fabrics, that's what textiles are. Your girl opted out of the book bundle, so I don't have any books, so I have to buy them with my money. But I'm gonna use the refund money and I'm gonna go see if this bookstore has them for cheaper because on Amazon, uh, the two books I need one of them, you can rent it, and it's like $33, but then you just have to ship it back, and it's like free shipping and all that stuff. I'm going to meet y'all at the bookstore, because i got to go park my car back in Brawley, and then I'm going to walk over there. Because I'm supposed to be meeting Yana and everybody else at 3. So I told them to meet me at the bookstore, so I'm going to catch y'all at the bookstore. Either. I'm in the bookstore with Yana, and i got to wait on the line. I got my book. Hi. You purchasing his? Yes. This. Yeah. You want to buy that? I'm taking over Deja's vlog, okay? Yes, so, hi guys. Yes, my yes. name is Yana. If you don't know me, I am a business major at Clark Atlanta University. You know? Yeah. Deja's over here purchasing her book for school. I think she told y'all. I'm not 100% sure. But, um, yeah. Y'all should go subscribe to my channel, too. I'm I'm getting there. I'm going to be up there with Deja one day. I'm getting there though. Be yeah. Y'all know Aria. Y'all type in my name. I'm gonna pop up. And then we're going to the cap, guys, because they have seafood in the cap. Like, do y'all HBCU be having that? Do y'all school be having that? No, crab I don't think so. So yeah, I'm I'm allergic to crab, so I'm gonna eat shrimp. But yeah, here you go. Yeah, she yeah. Hey. Wow. Hi. Hi. I got my book finally. You don't know I was struggling. I was like almost the only one without a book. So now, when I go back to that class, I'm gonna have all the stuff I need. We got our seafood, one. yes sir, that's Yana's plate. plate. We got my plate, we got Milan's plate, and which one is? Cece's plate, we all eat good. I got me a Kev, I got um, raspberry lemonade. I'm eating this. No cap on my house, I'm gonna take it. Y'all, this is like, really spicy. I'm taking that for last. I can do it now, I'll try. It's basically if I think Girl, this plate, all that butter on you. No! Stay. Good morning, guys. It is currently Wednesday, February 1st, and it's 9.32. I'm going to visual merchandising at 10, and 
before we go we had to do a an article presentation with each group we had an assignment way before she put us into groups so she said to pick two people from your group choose who gets to speak about the articles we read so it was me and someone else and we have two different articles so this was my article right here so we're gonna just go through that and then this was the other girl's article and then she said this she's going to ask everyone questions so i just put some important details from her article and put them here and then i have my own essay part of my article that i wrote for the actual assignment so i hope it goes well so y'all seen that i got my swatch book so comes with the swatches of the fabric i just have to open it and do it later so i'm gonna do it after this class because today is fried chicken wednesday so i'm probably most likely going to the cafe after this class so yeah so i'm gonna meet y'all in the class and i'm gonna see y'all later Staying strong where it originated that is true because the cure originated in chicago and that's where i'm from so the store been a thing since the year 2002. now i started working at akira in chicago and when i came it was like the art like you had to be on point because it would be points of time where erica wayne the founder would come in she would fire people right on the spot like mm -hmm. I don't like her. She's not representing the brand. If the the pants weren't fo folded correctly, everybody get in trouble. I come here. It's a free fall. Up that couple of months. Oh, I'm like, oh man. If I go to tell management in Chicago, they're gonna call the higher ups, and somebody's gonna come in the store. Y'all all gonna get in trouble. But see, that ain't my business. I just be like, look, I was wrong. I start tightening up around here because if the white right person come in at the wrong time, y'all gonna. <laughs> we had the same um, article as them, but. I got out of class and I'm in the cafe with Yana. Hi guys! It's Fried Chicken Wednesday, so the line is mad long. I'm so upset. I wanted to speak in front of the class. Hey, like, y'all have seen what happened. The other group had the same article, and the teacher wanted us to do a different article, so I didn't get a chance to speak, and then we were the last group, so it was like, there was no time, so I just didn't get a chance to say anything, but it doesn't matter. There's still going to be other days when we have group article presentations, so I'm going to just wait for that, but yeah, y'all seen what happened, and but the class was good. Plates is beautiful, and you already know I got me a bag. Don't mind the pillows. Hey y'all, so I did a little outfit change and I'm about to go to my 2 p.m. class. It is currently 1.45 and I'm about to leave soon, but I wanted to show you guys and explain this textbook. Or, well, it's not really a textbook, it's just like a kit. The lady said it was 130 but when I bought it, it was only $114 with tax. Inside um, is this shows all of the descriptions of the fabrics which are in here and i'm supposed to be um like organizing them inside so i have to take this paper off which i'm going to do right now so it just says fabric science and swatch kit this is the pages with all of the swatches and they're numbered all the way up until 114. the teacher wanted us to go up to 75 because she said it's overwhelming so all of these swatches have names for them, which are in the book, and I have to go down each one, and yeah, this is coming apart. So I have to go down each one and like put the names of them and everything, like there's a lot of them, so you, you guys can see that, right? A magnifying glass, so that you can like really get into detail with the fabrics and the swatches. You just open it, and then yeah. I'm about to head to Finite Math, but well, I'm not going to record that. If I don't record anything else today, I will be seeing you guys tomorrow because tomorrow is Thursday and I have I have fundamentals of speech, what I haven't recorded yet because class was canceled yesterday. Then there is a mandatory fashion meeting, so I will be bringing you guys with me to that meeting. And then I have textiles again. And yeah, so if I don't see you guys for the rest of the day, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. So... That's nuts, Billy.
I left my yard filled in the 50s, didn't remember my back cards. I really wish bro was with me, he got eight on his back like Lampard. That can't be an up trying to diss me, he was in an interview and really singing ballads. Hey y'all, just a little update. Um, I got on my Fundamentals of Speech class. Today we just literally um, went over chapter two. So it was about ethics and public speaking. So this was all my notes. And then this is, yeah, that's all my notes for chapter two. And this is chapter one. It's 11.34 right now. And the fashion meeting starts at 11.45. And I'm gonna get up soon. I'm mad tired. That's why I sound so like down. But I just wanted to update y'all, so I'm gonna see y'all in the classroom. You know, I'm feeling embarrassed, baby, looking all Nicky, my nose. I've got a spaceship in my garage. My young boy went over there, man, something. He did a sauna and a massage. You know me, I kick back and manage. Sent them, them, even rushing the floor that day. I was feeling like Van Hal. It's a struggle to talk about drills. When you're factual, I can get nicked and end up catching. And a month, we'll be doing another something where we have more gifts. But we're constantly getting gifts. But for the first, so you get accustomed to being first. You're never last, you're always first. And if you're excellent in your work, your other professors, when you say, can I leave five minutes early, I have a meeting with my major department, they'll understand because you're excellent in their class. I am Professor Mrs. B.J. Arnett. As I said, I'm your interim chair. Nine professors that will be, uh, many of them will be speaking to you today. But first we're gonna talk about the things that are necessary for you to know in terms of dates. Hey guys, I've been in my room for a while because I'm tired and it's downpouring outside. The fashion meeting was great. Um, most of the professors in the department and just gave information of what students need to know and all the stuff like that. They gave us free food. It was like the first 90, but I think everybody got food. And it was the first 50 people. I have to show you guys this. So I was like one of the first people on that line so I got a Levi's tote bag and you got to pick it was either a Levi's tote bag or a backpack I'm not sure what the brand of the backpack was but the tote bag is cute so I'm gonna use that one day then they just introduced all the professors um they gave us insight on some events that were popping up our dress code as fashion majors what we need to be wearing and what we should not wear but this video is going to come to an end because today is Thursday and these this fashion series is going to be uploaded on Fridays not every Friday but when I record or when something is popping up that has to do with fashion I will be uploading on Friday so remember fashion Fridays uploads on Fridays okay I know y'all look at my lashes all the time and you probably are like why does her lashes look like that I know I wait so long to get a fill-in, but I'm getting my lashes removed right now because they need to come off and I, I just really can't. So my lashes are going to get removed in like five minutes before we leave. I wasn't going to tell y'all at first in this video, but I'm going to tell y'all anyway. We literally hit 1K subs this morning, bro. 1K subs. Like, if you don't believe me, I got the proof right here. Look. 1k sub like oh you don't understand how hyped i am right now i could cry it doesn't even feel real like i don't even have an emotion because it doesn't feel real like 1k that means it's 1000 people that subscribe to my channel i did say once i hit 1k i'm not going to call you guys you guys anymore well, I posted a poll on Instagram. I don't remember how long ago that was. But if you don't follow my Instagram, make sure you follow my Instagram at deja.7. Deja and I said, what group name should I call my subscribers? And I put Monet Babies or Monet Mafia. Monet Mafia won by like a lot. 
I even said to myself, there's a lot of YouTubers that already use, like, babies as their YouTube, like, their subscriber's name. Like, there's a lot of people. I didn't, I don't like doing the same thing as other people. I want to do something different. I mean, a couple of people use, ma like, Mafia and their stuff, but, like, Monet Mafia goes together. Like, MM, like, I had to do it. If you're not subscribed, make sure you click that button and join the Monet Mafia because you know the vibes. You guys requested this a lot, especially when I first started at Clark, when I posted my day in the life video. Once I mentioned that I was a fashion major, a lot of people already was requesting, suggesting that I should um, record a video of like what fashion majors do, their classes they take, and just like a day in the life of a fashion major. So instead of a day in the life, I did a week in the life because my week is very busy. So... I hope you guys freaking enjoyed and make sure you like comment and subscribe i could have done better with this video a lot of things but this is my first video like recording all in my classes and everything and it's kind of like the still beginning of the semester so i'm like still like trying to fit in the class and everything i can't believe we hit 1k subs you don't understand like you don't understand like i've been it's been a year and a month that i've been doing youtube a year and a month I love you guys so, 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 so freaking much. Monet Mafia forever now. So, yeah, that's the new thing now. Monet Mafia. We really, we really the Monet Mafia. Like, enough with the talking. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have some more video suggestions or if you want me to touch in some more details with something having to do with fashion, let me know in the comments. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Deja Monet is out.